Joey only care we weather dude here and yes we do have the risk of thunderstorms in BC on Sunday Monday maybe Tuesday I'm not gonna say a whole lot about that but Penticton Kelowna Kamloops and areas you may see some isolated activity I don't think we'll see severe yet I'll have more on that though if it does break out of course and stay a Tune to Interior Weather and Wilderness Watchers, our group on Facebook. That's where we'll keep talking. Holy fuck! I felt the fucking shockwave from that. It's that time of year we should review lightning safety a little bit. You have noticed I did not shave tonight because Tampa Bay has been eliminated by the Leafs. I'm pretty happy. So now I can talk about lightning and how much I love lightning again. Because the lightning are no longer my enemies. Well, it can be your enemy. I've been struck by lightning, right? So take it from me, lightning is pretty serious and real. It can reach as far as 160 kilometers from a storm. That's been recorded before. So, I mean, uh, the, uh, the adage when thunder roars go indoors, they mean that for a reason because uh, you can only hear the storm usually in the daytime, like 10 kilometers. Uh, you can't see the lightning very well. So often you're in the striking range of that storm easily once you start hearing thunder. So that we all know. Here's the ways in which people get struck. Oh my God. Now counterintuitively, this guy here, he's enduring the direct strike. He's out in the middle of the field. There's nothing around him. And uh, probably the only thing he's doing wrong is he's standing up. This is probably the safest place to be. If you look at the next four ways people get killed by lightning, they all involve being near taller objects, trees, and things like that. So being out in the open is the least likely way to get hit. However, if you get hit straight in the head like that, the chance of being killed is very high. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so a person struck by lightning becomes part of the main discharge channel. Most often, Direct strikes occur to victims who are in open areas. They're not as common as the other ways people are struck by lightning, but they're potentially the most deadly. In most direct strikes, a portion of the current moves along and just over the skin surface, it's called a flashover, and a portion of the current moves through the body, usually through the cardiovascular and nervous system. The heat produced when lightning moves over the skin can produce burns, but the current moving through the body is of the greatest concern. Well, the ability to survive any lightning strike is related to immediate medical attention. The amount of current moving through the body is also a factor. So you have the positive charges down here and they've come up through guy and the negative charges come down and they met in the middle and now he is dead. Not right. <gasps> oh my. Here we have the side flash, side splash it might be called. So this is an example of why you don't hang around trees and you see, this guy uh, thinks he's safe going into the trees, but he's not, right? So, it occurs when lightning strikes a taller object near the victim, and a portion of the current jumps from the taller victim to the, to the victim. In, a, in essence, the person acts as a short circuit for some of the energy in the lightning discharge. Side flashes occur when the victim is within a foot or two of the object that is struck. Most often, side flashes have taken shelter under a tree to avoid rain or hail. So you got to know what a storm looks like when it's developing and not be out in it when it's ready. <laughs> so this is how I've been zapped and I've actually had this more than once, but the one time I'd call it a genuine good bolt. Um, the third time I was standing over top of probably water mains or something like that and the bolt must have hit maybe six blocks away. I don't know, it hit down the hill, but it charges all it, so, I mean, just be careful, right? It was, it felt like a cattle fence. Mm -hmm. This works, and this is how I see, like, cattle getting sometimes killed. 20, 30, 40 cattle getting knocked down, why sometimes an entire uh, soccer team is killed or injured. Uh, there was that case at a U.S. Army base in Colorado, something 25 years ago, maybe, where... Uh, I don't remember how when it was. Everyone was like standing out to the last minute and then they run for for cover to the mess hall or whatever, but uh, lightning struck and killed and wounded a number of people. When lightning strikes a tree or other object, much of the energy travels outward from the strike in and along the ground surface. This is known as the ground current. 
anyone outside near a lightning strike is potentially the victim of ground current. In addition, ground currents can travel in garage floors with, with conductive materials. Because the ground current affects a much larger area than the other causes of lightning casualties, the ground current causes the most lightning deaths and injuries. Ground current also kills many farm animals. Typically, the lightning strike enters the body at the contact point closest to the lightning strike, travels through the cardiovascular system and nervous system, and exits the body furthest at the contact point furthest from the lightning. The greater the distance between the contact points, the greater the potential for death or serious injury. Because farm animals have a relatively large body span, ground currents from a nearby lightning strike is often fatal to them. Oh. Oh my god, that did not just happen. So, uh, and conduction is much like ground current, except uh, here, uh, this would be like that farmer, uh, the cowboy in Nanton, who was riding his horse down the fence line. They found him and the horse dead, and they surmised later on that lightning had hit somewhere 400 yards or something like that up the, the quarter section, and he was near the fence, and it got them both, right? So, uh, much in the same way that ground currents work, conduction works. Uh, travels long distance in wires and metal surfaces. Metal does not attract lightning, but it provides the path for the lightning to follow. Most indoor lightning casualties and some outdoor casualties are due to conduction. Whether inside or outside, anyone in contact with anything connected to metal wires, plumbing, or metal surfaces that extend to outside is a risk. This includes plugs that plugs into an extra electrical outlet, water faucets, showers, corded phones, windows and doors. These are all things that can uh, give you a conductive shock. Holy shit! Holy shit! Not as common as streamers. And, I mean, this is just unfortunate, guys. Just, oops. Well, not as common as other types of lightning injuries. People caught in streamers are at risk of being killed. They develop as the downward moving leader approaches the ground. Typically, only one of the streamers makes contact with the leader as it approaches the ground and provides the path for a bright return stroke. However, when the main channel discharges, so do all the streamers in the area. If a person is part of one of these streamers, they could be killed or injured. Even though the lightning channel is not completed between the cloud and the upward streamer. It says see Robert's story, but I clicked on it and it's nothing there. <laughs> So definitely we can talk more and more about lightning, keep learning about it. There's a lot to learn about lightning. We see Sunday at 4 p.m. Kamloops maybe up to 100 mile house, possibly Kelowna, Penticton could rain in the caribou. Uh, we could see some of that rain as storms, but it's going to die off into rain. Some of these storms might be long live night storms down on the border. And you might even see freezing rain in the mountains, zero soil use. Thunderstorms at 6 a.m., strong down in the States. So these are ones to watch on Monday that might be, uh, we might see some warnings for, some watches for, when they come up into BC from there. So pay attention, Cranbrook area, maybe you. Caribou not seeing much. And it's this low that's been kind of offshore. It's moving into Washington, right? So down there they got a real weird mix going on oregon we're getting thunderstorms snow in the california mountains we got this atmospheric river still going on and we'll talk all about that more in my future videos i promise you i really do we'll have a full week weather show tomorrow okay so be smart out there be safe and we'll talk to you soon don't get struck by lightning you want to get that nice photograph but it ain't always worth it please subscribe share like and keep coming on by because I'm not such a bad guy. Okay, bye.